Hey yo, look who's back, your mother. I'm actually back for CSGO FPS videos, and it's been a while. Yay! Also, I'll be uploading a few CSGO videos for you poor bitches. And I'm back with another 2023 CSGO FPS boost and FPS drop fix video. Also, a small warning, this video might boost your frames so high that your PC might actually explode. So, be careful with that. Yeah, with that said, let's get into that video. Okay, guys. So for the first step, you want to make sure you copy my launch options, which I've provided in the description. You want to open up Steam, right click on your CSGO, click on properties and yeah, just paste those launch options, which I've given and you can close it. Okay. And again, you want to go to CSGO, click on properties and um, go to the local files, click on browse. And once you're here, make sure you find your csgo.exe, click on right click, click on properties, go to compatibility and make sure you disable full screen optimizations, click on change height DPS settings and make sure you click on override height DPS scaling, click on OK, click on apply, click on OK. Now for the next step, go to your task manager, click on, I mean type in background apps and click on that. Once you're here, make sure you uh, disable all the apps running in the background so it doesn't use your memory, PC memory and usage, CPU usage. So yeah, make sure you turn this off and type in game mode over here and make sure game mode is set on. Okay. And go to your Xbox game bar and make sure it is set off. Yeah, then you can close it. Now for the next step, go to your start uh, go to your start and just type in control panel and then once you're here just make sure you select category and click on network and internet then once you're here click on network and sharing click on change adapter settings and yeah just find the wi-fi or ethernet you're connected to right now i'm connected to a wireless network connection so I'm, I'm just going to right click, click on properties. Once you're here, click on configure and then click on power management and make sure you uncheck. Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click on OK and you can yeah close it. Now for the ne next step, you want to download this software, which is Drive Booster. So for that, open up your um, web browser and uh, search drive booster and the first website which comes in drive booster 10 free click on that and then make sure you download this i've already downloaded this so yeah i'll provide the link in the description just download this and you can close your web browser you can open up this app uh, the software drive booster 10 and then once you're here you should click uh, scan to scan uh, to check the status of the drivers so just click on scan once you're done with scanning it'll give you a list of all your uh, drivers which are outdated and you can update them all your outdated game drivers you can update them at once so yeah it, it's a really good device if you want to you know uh, reduce your F fps drops in game by uh, updating all your drivers so you can click on update now and click on ok so yeah let it take its time and make sure you download and update install whatever just click on the update now and yeah now for the next step you want to go to your start and then type in run once you're in this make sure you paste this uh, this command which I've given in the description. Make sure you paste this command and then click on OK. Once you do that, you want to make sure you restart your PC. So yeah, let's go to the next step. Now for the next step, this is like the very basic step, but it's the most important step if you want to reduce your FPS drops in game. And that is to make sure that your main drive, at least your main drive or your local disk C or yeah, whichever is your main drive, is not showing the red bar this uh was in my case 
I think this was one of the main reasons why my uh, CSGO FPS used to drop so much. So yeah, make sure you have at least 15 to 20 GB of free space in your local disk C or your main drive, whichever is your main drive. Yeah, so this is a really important step if you want to get those higher frames and less FPS drops. So yeah, make sure you do this. Now, guys, the next step is for all the laptop users. Make sure you always plug in your laptop when you're playing your games. Please make sure you you plug in your laptop when you're playing your games. This significantly increases your performance in game. You can end up going from 30 FPS to 100 FPS if you literally just plug in your laptop when you're playing your game. This is a must to do step if you want to see huge results in your performance, huge good results in your performance and get the high FPS and less FPS drops. Mainly it's good for less FPS drops. Okay, so make sure you always plug in your laptop when you're playing CSGO or any other game. So yeah, this is an important step. Now let's go to the next step. Okay guys, for the next step, obviously you wanna open up your CSGO and click on your settings and go to the video settings and just make sure you copy all my settings aspect ratio should be 4 to 3 resolution I use 800 to 600 this is the best uh, resolution if you want uh, like better frames and uh, if you wanna get like better gameplay and yeah just copy all my other settings display mode should be full screen laptop power savings should be disabled very low low disabled low and then make sure your multi core rendering is enabled so yeah just copy all my settings after you do that just click on apply changes click on ok now there's another setting which i want to talk to you guys about and that is vsync the vertical sync so if you want to enable this go to your settings menu and search for vsync so you can enable this uh, mainly when you get FPS drops or you get low frames in game so what this does is it locks your FPS at the average FPS you're getting which helps you to get more stable frames and it prevents those FPS drops this can significantly uh, help you to get much lower frame uh, FPS drops so yeah you can go for double buffered or triple buffered I'm not uh, sure which one is the best just try both these settings and yeah just enable the one which you feel like is the best so yeah this is a great way of reducing your FPS drops and it basically fixes your FPS drops so yeah you can do this if you have like too many FPS drop issues and yeah let's go to the next step okay so for the next step I've given a CSGO FPS boost back by trimmers in the description so you want to go ahead and download that so i've already downloaded this and i'm just gonna open the folder click on this and then go to optimizations go to csgo priorities and make sure you click csgo high priority dot reg so just click on yes click on okay and go back then click on reg files and then you want to make sure you enable all this so just click on the first one click yes click ok the next one yes ok yes ok yes ok so after you do that you want to go back and then you want to go to programs click on mod tool v2 and then you want to click on this exe file and then once you're here, make sure you go to your graphics card minus Intel HD graphics 4600. So once you're here, you just need to uh, click on this and then make sure it's set on high. So yours might be different. Your graphic card might be different. So minus Intel HD 4600, just click over here and just make sure it's set on high. Click on apply and yeah, you can close it. Once you're done with that, you can go back 
and you want to click on this ultimate performance power plan text file so open this up and then just copy this command which is over here just copy the command close it and then just go to start right click start click on windows powershell admin then just paste the command uh, which I've copied click on enter so as you can see ultimate performance has been created the power plan so if you want to enable this go to your start type in edit power plan click on power options and just select ultimate performance so this is a really good power plan if you want more FPS and uh, less if you want to experience less FPS drops in game so the this power plan is good so yeah you can close it and then once you're done with that make sure you go to programs again click on park control and and download this uh, application which is park control so if you're on a 32-bit system click on this and install the software if you're on a 64-bit PC then click on this and install the software I'm on a 64-bit uh, PC so I'm just gonna click on this click on OK yeah then I'm just gonna uh, install this I've already installed this so I'm not gonna install it again so once you're over there you can click on park control and uh, if you don't see park control uh, opening up just go here and you can see your park controllers over here so just click on that and then once you're here make sure you set this option to ultimate performance click on apply click on ok click on ok so yeah we're done with the fps boost back now let's go to the next step okay guys so for the next step i've given you guys another fps boost pack uh by bear fox so if you want to support his channel go check out his channel so this fps boost pack is made by bear fox so yeah just go ahead and download it from the description so once you download it extract the file and just open up the folder click on this and just click on import and tweaks click on cpu tweaks once you're here just click on your gpu i'm on an intel uh, gpu if you're not an amd gpu click on this so i'm on an intel gpu so i'm just going to click on this click on the intel priority uh, dot reg click on yes click on okay go back and then you want to make sure you enable uh, all these reg files so click on the first one click on yes click on ok click on the second one click yes click ok click on the third one click on yes click ok after you're done with that you want to go back click on ram optimization here you have different options for different pcs with different rams currently i'm on uh, an 8gb ram so i'm just gonna click on the 8gb ram dot reg file if you're on a 4gb ram click on this if you're on a 16gb ram click on this so I'm just going to click on 8GB RAM. So yeah, just click on yes, click on OK. Now go back. And then here, the last one over here is cachecleaner.bat. So this basically uh, cleans up all the unnecessary files, cache, uh, temp files uh, in your PC, which just slows down the performance of your PC. So just right click this, run it at... Uh, run it uh, as as administrator so after you're done with that you can go back and you can close it okay now for the next step i've given you the steam shortcut launch options in the description so basically you just want to open up steam uh, right click csgo click on properties and then click on local files once you're in the local files just click on browse So once you're here, you want to go to Steam, scroll down till you find steam.exe. Once you find this, right click this, click on create shortcut. As you can see, steam.exe shortcut has been created. So right click this, click on properties, and then the Steam 
shortcut launch options which I've given you in the description make sure you copy them and then just come in this uh, target section copy those uh, steam shortcut launch options which I've given in you guys in the description leave a gap and just paste those launch options so yeah that's it click on apply click on ok and yeah you can close it okay now for the next step I've given you the auto exec files in the description so make sure you just download these auto exec files which I've given in the description once you download these files open up steam right click your CSGO click on manage click on browse local files once you're here just click on steam and then once you click on steam scroll down till you find uh, your user data click on that and then here you should find your account minus the first one so I'm just gonna click on that click on 730 local CFG and then once you're here just paste the two uh, auto exec files which I've given you guys in the description so download them and paste them in your account so yeah that's it and now you can close it and yeah let's go to the next step so yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you spank that subscribe button like I always say and tell your mother that I love her so adios mis amigos hola mis amis I'm going to end the video here piss off